On the 23rd of August, 1942, the city of Stalingrad became an inferno. Loudspeakers in the city began to repeat, Comrades, an air warning has been sounded in the city. Anti-aircraft guns began firing as waves of German bombers approached. Everything was bombed. Incendiary bombs showered down upon wooden homes in the southwestern edge of the city. Petroleum storage tanks, which were located on the Volga bank, were also hit. A massive ball of flame rose 450 meters into the sky, and over the next few days, the column of thick black smoke could be seen for over 300 kilometers away. On that day, a thousand tons of bombs were dropped upon the city of Stalingrad, pulverizing most buildings. The air raids on the city would continue. Bombs would be rained down on the city block by block. The German bombers would leave no area of the city untouched. The cost of human life was large as well. Hundreds of families were buried alive in the initial raid. On August 26th, I arrived at my new home for the foreseeable future, just 50 kilometers away from the city on fire, Blinitsk Airfield. For the time being, I would be the deputy commander of the 9th GIAP. We would be flying the Lag-3 aircraft. Like most Lag-3 pilots, I found the aircraft rather underwhelming. It is outclassed by the German Messerschmitts in almost every category. It is, however, a rather rugged machine. I will attempt to make the most of it. My first assignment over the skies of Stalingrad was to escort a large flight of A-20 Bostons to their target area, deep behind enemy lines. The target was a supply hub for the 4th Panzer Army, who were approaching Stalingrad from the south. The chances of being intercepted on this mission are extremely high. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to the skies of Stalingrad with Yuri, who you may remember from our Battle of Moscow series. We are flying the Lag-3 fighter, which in my opinion is a rather underwhelming aircraft. I'm not a huge fan of it, which is the reason I chose it. I figured it would be fun to get more and more proficient in this aircraft, and it'll make the series a little more interesting. The Lag-3 is pretty much outperformed by the BF-109 in most categories. I think we have a little edge in the uh, horizontal, but when it comes to speed and going into the vertical, the 109 does outclass us. Armament in the Lag-3 is okay, though. We have one 20mm Shavak cannon that fires through the propeller hub, and then one 12.7mm UB machine gun. So it should be more than enough to deal with those pesky 109s. Uh, but when it comes to enemy bombers and the like, we may have some issues. Intercepting and shooting down bombers shouldn't be an issue for this sortie. Today we are tasked with escorting a group of A-20 Bostons, which are down there. They are currently approaching the Volga, which is right at 12 o'clock. If we look off to around 2 o'clock, we can see the city of Stalingrad, the city on fire over there. Um... Our mission objective is pretty far in German lines. These A-20s are bombing a town which is occupied by the German 4th Panzer Army. And uh, it's around 130 kilometers away from our airfield of Leninsk. So, yeah, a pretty, pretty long sortie. I think our chances of being intercepted by the enemy are relatively high. Well, it should be very, very interesting. Okay, I think we have, yep, there we go. Our friends are diving in. We have 109s. All right, let's go get them. Startle up. Diving in on the target. They just snuck up on us. That's a lag. Hopefully we have a nice altitude advantage here. That's another lag. Excuse me. All right, there's the A20s back there. Okay, yeah, there's a there's a swarm of 109s. We have a... Oh, boy, don't like that. No, thank you. <laughs> Not a fan of that. Okay, there's a 109 on my 6. Okay, let's make sure we're... Close my radiator up just a little bit here. Here we go. Now, 
It looks like we have the enemy tangled up here as the A-20s escape. That's our job. Okay, I have a 109 at 12 o'clock. We will engage him. We are not moving too quickly. Let's close that radiator just a little bit more. And... I want to make sure our supercharger is in stage one at this altitude. We kick it over to stage two at an altitude of 2,500 meters in the lag three. All right, we have this guy lined up. Looks like the 109's clean, no gun pods or anything like that. Now it looks like he's actually damaged. Yeah, look at his left wing there. My aim is... Leaves a little bit to be desired. Today. There we go. We've popped his radiator, his fuel tank. Oh my gosh. Yuri almost just got killed on his first day. <laughs> Back to the front by debris. Okay, that's 1109 going down. Let's get back to the flight. We have lots of aircraft at 12 o'clock. That is our first kill over Stalingrad right there. A damaged 109. That's another 109 coming in. Um, not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. All right, let's try to just avoid. No, thank you. Here we go. This is not a, necessarily a fight I like to be in. Looks like this 109, he's either overheating or he popped his radiator. That's interesting. Wow, maybe he was just overheating for a second. All right, let's see if we can. Come on, lag three, you can do this. Not sure what's going on with this guy. We just tore into him now. That's a 109 going down. That was clean. Splash two. Okay. <laughs> Yuri, Yuri still got it. That's another 109 that just passed behind us. That has got to be the flight of bombers. Um, admittedly, what? Now, what the hell is that? Okay, there's a flight of aircraft low, and then up high, further down, is uh, our flight of bombers. So this is something else as passing our 12 o'clock position. And I am not sure where the rest of my comrades went to. Like the fighters are gone. Well, we're going to rendezvous with the bombers. What are these? Are these uh, HS 129s? I believe they are. I don't think these are uh, friendly. No, they are most certainly not. I don't know where the rest of my comrades. Okay, I think I have a few lags out there. All right, let's make a run. Try to disrupt their bombing run, whatever they're hitting. These are definitely ducks, they're breaking. All right, let's go for the one that broke a little slowly. There we go. And I think that's a duck going down. Let's make one more pass and then run back to the bombers. The Lag-3, like a lot of Soviet aircraft, does not have a lot, a whole bunch of ammo. As a matter of fact, I think I may be out of uh, cannon ammo. There we go. Started a fire. All right, let's get out of here.
Let's go to the bombers. I have quite a few aircraft above the bombers. That's probably our flight. You know what? I couldn't resist. Didn't want those uh, fascist fighter bombers to hit any of our troops. And it looks like the A-20s are dropping. And that looks like a full flight of A-20s at 12 o'clock. I don't think we lost a single one. All right, let's go full throttle. Check our instruments, make sure everything's okay. And climb up to a reasonable altitude to try to catch up. Okay, we have regrouped with the A-20s here. They all look to be in okay shape, and I believe the aircraft circling above it is in fact a friendly. Uh, fighter high, range two kilometers. Someone's calling out an enemy fighter. That's, uh, that's concerning. I do not see it. Well, we're not out of the woods yet. The Volga is at 12 o'clock. Still a little ways out. We have a long journey home. How's fuel? Fuel's okay. I took a full tank, so. We should be A-OK -okay to make it back home to Leninsk. Yeah, this guy's calling out uh, more fighters. I'm not sure where he is. Because all I see right now is this one friendly lag three, and it looks like uh, German anti-aircraft guns are opening up on us. That's not entirely surprising. Okay, folks, we have successfully dropped the A-20s off. That is their field, and our airfield, Leninsk, is just to the left here at 9 o'clock. So we are going to spiral down and come in for a landing. It's a good thing I took a full load of fuel. I mean, I guess we burned through more than I thought. This was a rather long sortie. I am interested to see how long it actually was. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and come in for hopefully a nice and smooth landing. Alrighty, folks, we are lined up and coming in for our landing here. We're going a little quick, so let's go ahead and drop our flaps, kill off some airspeed, and slowly come down nice and easy. We have plenty of runway to play with. Thankfully, this is quite a large airfield, which I admittedly wasn't expecting. Alright, nice and easy. There we go. A tiny little bounce there, but that actually wasn't half bad. Break, break, break. Nice and easy. And we are down for our first successful sortie over the skies of Stalingrad. There we go. Let's go ahead and taxi off. And of course, you all know the drill. I will see you for the debrief. Alrighty folks, here we are. That was a successful mission. We were in the air for 52 minutes. I knew it was long. And we shot down four aircraft. The two damaged 109s, which we happened to finish off, and then the two HS-129s. That second one was quite lucky. We lit its uh, second engine on fire almost immediately, so that was quite nice. Let's go and see. Here was our flight plan, of course. And yeah, we got to the target. It looks like they destroyed the factory that was there. And yeah, here's the HS 129s that were destroyed. Looks like a friendly, an LA 5. So there were some LA 5s patrolling the area as well. Yeah, that was a long mission. Um, as the Germans advance on Stalingrad, I'm sure our missions will be getting shorter and shorter. Let's see here. Let's go to the planning room and make sure everyone's still alive. Okay, so we got some rewards. Uh, we got a thousand rubles for killing some fighters, two thousand rubles for some bombers, 
And enemy planes have been spotted crossing our front lines. We'll see if we're on. Yep. We are slated to go out today. Oh, no. There's an intercept attackers mission. We are not on that mission. Everyone made it back home, though, after this escort bombers mission. Let's proceed and see how the uh, intercept attackers mission goes for these guys. So the mission went rather well. It lasted 15 minutes and uh, one of our comrades managed to shoot down an enemy bomber. These missions are always extremely dangerous, so I'm kind of surprised. Overall, no losses for the day. That is quite shocking. Let's go to our pilot and just to see how many kills Yuri has. It has been a while since we have seen him and since he was fighting over the skies of Moscow. We can see all of his awards. So Yuri is up to 50 enemy aircraft destroyed. Really 49 because I don't like to count the uh, parked aircraft. But uh, yeah, Yuri has, uh, has quite the collection of medals here. Anyway, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. And I am excited to bring Yuri back to the channel. Hopefully... We make it to Kuban because this is a dead is dead series. So if I die, the series ends. Uh, just wanted to throw that in there just in case you weren't familiar with how we do our careers around here. Anyway, thank you all for watching as always. Since this is the first episode of a brand new series, please uh, leave a like and comment as it really helps the channel out, especially on the first video of a new series but that's all i have for today thank you all for watching this is wolfpack 345 signing off and i will see you all on the next one